day one of Royal Visit Ireland, and it was all about meeting the locals, including Viking reenactors in Ireland's oldest city, Waterford. How long has it been since you took the seat? It was the usual mix of the serious and the not so serious, as Charles and Camilla also met first responders from the pandemic. For those who made it past the strict security, it meant a lot. We don't generally get royalty here, you know, for a lot of years and years. So it's just so nice that they have picked water for to visit. And we can't live in the past and we have to move forward in a positive way. And if it's anything positive for water, it is, is, is fine by us. And they're very welcome. This is King Edward I. In the museum, it was all about meeting the family and learning about Waterford's long history of connections to the Crown. It is, of course, a troubled history, but in recent times, there have been several royal visits. Security is very tight for this royal visit. The crowds they're meeting are carefully controlled and selected, but this is all about diplomacy, soft power, and the Prince and the Duchess love coming to Ireland. And that was reflected in the speech. It is yet another demonstration of how our two countries are not just neighbours, but partners. Charles ended as he started in Gaelic and said, it is good to be with old friends again. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're coming to Waterford, you have to sample Waterford Crystal, and you have to put something worthwhile in the crystal, obviously. <laughs> At one of the world's top racing stables, Camilla got to meet the champions, trainer Henry de Bromhead, jockey Rachel Blackmore and Honeysuckle. The Duchess missed Cheltenham due to Covid, so this was a huge behind-the-scenes treat. On her historic visit to Ireland in 2011, the Queen made similar visits, and there's no doubt she'll be expecting a full debrief on when the Duchess met these locals. Simon Viger, 5 News, Waterford.